So I left here, uh, I was explaining about how we are going to copy the data into the table using BCP. So this is the SQL bulk copy function provided by uh, .NET framework. And this is the part of C sharp, uh, like a SQL, uh, like namespace under namespace. So uh, what I did, I man mapped this, this the table here and I created a uh, map SQL bulk copy to summarize that um, that column matching is here. So let's take a look like uh, each definition I'm going to do. What is what is inside that method? So you can just take a look. So it's something like I map the data with the Excel. Uh, one one side is the name of that uh, the database column, and one side is the name of the column name from from the uh, Excel sheet. So I map this uh, properly over here. So and then I return the SQL bulk copy uh, object. So you we have proper um, uh, mapped data like map sequence of the columns based on Excel sheet to the database. So now just I'm going to write to the server and it's going to copy this. This is the whole uh, com uh, the method that I'm using to copy that the data table that I dumped from using the closed XML to a data table. Then I'm going to copy that into the um, a database next part is I created the same copy of of that one and this is why I am doing something like this this is just uh, I created an archive folder where I'm putting two extra columns that is my file name and my file date so that's I am doing over here and the table name is the prompt automation get 945 data underscore archive so this is for for just for archive only so these two methods that I use to copy that data into the uh, database. Okay, I guess it's much clearer now. Like what, how I am managing uh, the like copying the data from Excel sheet to the database using closed XML that library that uh, I took from the NuGet package. Okay, so next next thing is I copied the data. Next part is I have to get the process data and send back to email. So uh, how I am doing that, I, I created a method that uh, like going to do that email functionality. So here uh, I created this procedure that took the data from, from, from that table that uh, like creating a compilation of all the data based on the logic uh, written in this procedure. So I, I have uh, coming uh, data uh, in, into that, this data table. So I'm just going to use that data uh, the table and converting it to uh, uh, Excel sheet that is going to be Excel SX. So what I did, I downloaded all the data from the database and then, then converted it again back to the Excel sheet and processed table. Like you see a processed file. Okay, so then, then uh, what I have to do, I have to send out these these uh, these Excel sheet to the relevant emails based on that the code that I have like a six six seven seven for the prompt automation. So I created a loop based uh, if if this this is procedure returns uh, something with six six seven seven a code. I'm going to send that attachment to 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 the users. So I'm just navigating the send email how how it's working. So what I am doing here, uh, you can see like it's uh, taking like it just because when you attach something, uh, it's going to read uh, like a save in the in that memory. So you cannot reuse that file again and again. So uh, and it will be locked as well. So uh, like uh, as as I got a technique from my uh, um, boss, I guess. So he uh, he told me something like this to do uh, if you copy that file is not gonna happen you don't have to worry about like uh, locking that file so i created a sent folder and then i'm generating this uh, excel xlsx file and appending the date time now and creating a file uh, with a like copying that file into different location then i'm attaching into the email folder and this is the email subject that i'm doing um, subject 945 and the body of that email and then i'm sending using that smtp that i i showed inside that helper folder the model folder like you see the email helpers so 
this is the whole process of the bomb automation if you have any question let me know thank you so much